What's up, all my dragonlings? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damian Dragon, and this is a small little tutorial on how Damian Dragon does his editing for PlayStation 4 games. Now, as you can see, we're in the app called the Share Factory. Again, if you guys want to uh, do a little bit of stuff I do, then you can download this on the PlayStation 4. The Share Factory is really great. I've been using it for uh, around over a year now. Very good, uh, very good editing system. But let me show you a little bit of what I do. So, <clears throat> this is a little bit of an insight into the world of YouTubing. So, let me just show you. Alright. First things first, we want to check out what theme we want to use. Now, for around Halloween, I used the horror theme for a video or two. And it was actually pretty good because it shows a sense of immersion. So, let me show you something here. Um. Oh, God. And that was actually the original theme for the channel when I first started PlayStation 4. But as you can see, there's a uh, top 10 theme that I probably will stop using, start using for top 10. PlayStation's 20th anniversary thing, so that's actually really cool. Bloodborne, and the, a shooter theme for top 10s. Noah, Street Fighter 5, and as, on, as seen on TV, The Evil Within, The Last of Us, 30 Years of Naughty Dog, my actual original theme that I'm going to be showing you how to use in a minute. A famous Second Son, Soccer Theme, Battlefield Hardline, PlayStation 4, the original Share Effector theme, the Playroom theme. Tell me guys, if you guys want to, uh, you know, show out and tell me which theme that you want me to use more, tell me what you guys want me to use. And, I'll show, and then I'll start using this in regular, instead of the regular shooter theme. So let me show you exactly what's going on. Okay. As you can see, there's a couple clips I can choose from. The intro, the title, the outro, and stringer clips. Now, I don't use the, the stringer or the title. For the simple fact of it is, it's like I don't need to string anything together. Usually I have only one video and that's what the video is going to go in between it. Um, yeah, I tried to do this once before I took one take and something went wrong, so yeah. <laughs> Oh well. But as you can see, there's a couple videos that you've seen before. So this is the Paladin theme. The uh, Kenzie, and Kenzie's uh, Hacker Hero Brawl, I believe it is. And then we got WWE 2K18. There was a couple videos that I wanted to do on it. So this is the original theme, but I messed up on one, so I stopped it at two minutes. And then I went for it a whole minute again. Another Saints Row video. The, um, the race to 100% for... Uh, Crash Bandicoot, Dragon Age Inquisition, a couple other things that you've seen from the blast from the past. So I always, I keep all my I usually keep all my videos locked up tight, and for good reason. Um, but yeah, but that's not what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be uh, focusing on this, so we're gonna do that as well. But we're gonna take out the title and the stringer clip. So I'm gonna take that out, put that back in, and let's get to work. I don't name any of the projects for a simple fact of it is it comes out into my um, my videos and clips and it has its own set of files so it comes out like that so that's beautiful right there now, as you can see now let me show you as you can see this is what this is what it originally looks like before I start my editing Okay, so bear non bear bra, it has nothing. It shows the share factory and then closes. But yeah. <laughs> now, before I do anything, I rewatch the entire clip. But since I um, already know about the clip itself, I'm not gonna watch it all. For some fact, it is it's gonna take forever. Now I watch everything through to make sure our audio is right. The um, visuals are fine, nothing screws up in my recording, nothing goes wrong, and I watch it the entire, the entire way through. Now, my entire process takes a good 20, 30 minutes. If you talk about upload, upload and, um, you know, rendering time, it takes a good, like, 40 minutes for me, depending on the clip. 
So, yeah. <laughs> and going straight through, it takes a while. Alright. But let me pull back the curtain a little bit and talk to you guys directly. Hi! <laughs> um, alright. Now, this is what you see behind the scenes. This is what happens when I edit. Okay, um, I sit back, well, after I do the video, I sit back for about 10 minutes and relax myself, relax my voice before I start editing. But depends on what time I'm doing it. If it's like late at night, so let's just say around 3, 4 a.m., right after I'm done editing, I will have to done recording, sorry. I get right back, I get right in here and I edit and I have, have it all done and uploaded for the next day. I have it uploaded on private so I can schedule it for the next day. Why do you think that everything comes out at the same time each day? I have a schedule. I know I'm not in the right position for this shit. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm not in the middle of the screen for, for, good, for good reason. I know OCD people are like, get in the middle of the screen! But <laughs> I'm OCD too, sorry. But um, yeah, as you can see right now, this is the time I usually do editing, so I thought maybe I should, you know, show you guys a little bit of my editing techniques while I'm, I'm about to edit some stuff. So who knows? But as you can tell, let me show you something. I don't lie when I say it's, it's the time it is, is what time it is. It's dark as fuck. And so you guys know I'm not lying. Let me, let me show you something. Um... Hold on. Is it? No. If you can see that up top, um, don't think it's coming in quite clearly, so let me... It is 12.34 a.m. A.m. November 21st, 12.34, and the glitchy numbers is a.m. <laughs> I do this late at night for a good reason. Um, I'm not disturbed. I don't get talked to very often. So my family is asleep. I'm the only one up. I'm alone. I can do my editing in peace. I can get everything done. Any recordings I need to get done, I can get it done at that time without doing it during the day. So live streams, I have to do them during the day. For the fact of it is, you guys are awake. You guys are ready. You guys are wanting to do it. So that's what time I do it at. Um, normally I don't really do it around a good time, so I'm sorry. But, yeah. <laughs> but this is, but people ask me, and ask a lot of YouTubers, it's like, your life must be glamorous. No! <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> this is me on the opposite end. Boring as fuck. Like, and I know this is boring as fuck. Believe me, half of you guys clicked up the video by now. I know. But, I think I should, you know, address that a little bit. I know that I'm taking up the tutorial a little bit, but I'm sorry, it needs to be addressed. Not everything, not every YouTuber's life is really glamorous. PewDiePie, I can't say much about Jack, Mark, and all of them. They get to go on tours and stuff. For regular YouTubers like me and a couple of YouTubers like Chaos May, um, Pop Spider, or the Tale of Michael Gaming now, um, we we get boring. Like, not to say that they are boring or they don't lead a really good life. What we're saying is, behind the camera and behind the game, a lot of times we're just doing this to make sure everything's entertaining for you. And no, not everything, like, all editing is amazingly beautiful and shit like that. No, it's like, sometimes it, it gets boring and repetitive, believe me. <laughs> I don't lie to you guys. I, I sit here and I look at you and guys, I'm saying, this is how it is, this is what's gonna happen, this is what we're gonna do. I don't like to nip in the bud, I do not like to, like, cut corners or... You know, tell you guys something that ain't true, and you know, walk my way around the lie. Um, 
I tell you guys face to face because I respect you guys enough to tell you. A lot of the shit that we do is boring as all hell. When you, we sit at the camera and we sit back and we look at this. Yeah, everything, we're having fun doing this. I have fun doing this. But editing behind the scenes is kind of annoying and kind of boring. Especially, but a lot of times I have some music or um, a video playing on my computer, which I listen to. So I listen to like the Jay Wits or um, Game Theory or something like that. Um, I listen to Jack and Mark play a couple games while I'm sitting back watching something from Vanoss. And this is what I do during the night. So, yeah, burn as luck. <laughs> but let me get back to the tutorial and I'll show you how, guys how to do some stuff. Okay. So, what you guys want to first want to do, I always first start off with the in intro because it's very repetitive. So, I'm a very perfectionist type of person. I hate being the one that says, oh, perfectionist, perfectionist, I being perfectionist. I, I am that, but for good reason. Alright, so let's start um, with my uh, title card. Okay. As you see, I go into overlays, and that's usually what you see. The first the share factory comes up, door opens, share factory closes. But what I want you to see when the door opens is, you know, a couple of things. So you see the text and stuff like that. But I have the imported images. But you have um, theme stickers that you guys can use, stickers in general that you guys can use. So like my uh, PlayStation avatar, my old avatar that I used to use for the channel is still up here. And you have a couple different things that you have here. But I usually use my imported images because that's what you usually see. So what I do is I take it, I use the L1 button and I shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down. And to a good size where it just covers up the uh, Share Factory logo. Okay, so that's where it comes out to. But sometimes I have it a little bigger, sometimes a little bit smaller, depending on how good the video is. Um, I could think I said that wrong. Um, any size is good to me, but you know what I mean. Now, always I go seven down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. This will be my usual um, my usual font that I use when it comes to my uh, overlays. Because you can see it's very like distorted, a little dragon-like, where everything is like, okay, it's out there, it's in your face, and it says, you know, dragon, Damien, look at it. <laughs> now, as you can see, I have some preferred colors. Always, saturation, 100, brightness, 60. Because it gets that good, dark, but not too dark, red color that I'm looking for. Now with text effects, I have text effects. So what I want, anytime I use it, so you've seen this a couple times, Damien Dragon, and like the bright colors, sometimes in the, like the dark and misshapen ones, but the usual one I use is this one. It has, it, it reverts everything, but with the red around the, red around all the letters, but way in the middle, it stands out, and that's what I want to do. Now what I do is, I set it up, set it up, set it up, set it up, set it up. Where the yellow line, it just overlaps. Just overlaps the, um, the small little picture right here. Or just a little more, maybe, maybe, maybe right there, right there, right there. Boom. <laughs> Good spacing. And now I do the same thing, same thing, same thing. With this. Bring it, bring it, bring it down, bring it down. 160. Do the same thing, same thing, same thing. You bring it down. Again, again, again. Make sure it just, just, just overlaps. You don't want too big of a gap or too small of a gap. You have too big of a gap and make things evenly on evenly portioned. And I don't like that shit. So now that you see it, you go from right here. It opens up. Logo, boom, right there. So it comes in and then it closes, just letting land back Damien Dragon. Okay. Now everything else would come together perfectly. I already watched the video. I've already, I already know what's going on in the video. Let 
Now what I do right afterwards, I sit here, watch. I think middle, 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 middle. Okay, I get the right point, right point, right point, right here. Thank you. Okay, 18 minutes, 55 seconds. That's the point we wanted to be at. Alright, so what I do as I come back, I add my music. We you add your music, it goes all the way over, but it goes on forever. So what I do is I find a good stopping point, find find a good stopping point, find a good stopping point. Now I like to do it in the middle before before it goes, so right right there. So I take it and I split the music. Split it so it makes two even ended. I delete this. Leaves um it leaves the bare minimum of what I wanted to do. So I go back, hit the button, make the volume. I always bring it out to 30%, because anything higher, watch. It overlaps me. Like, you don't want it to, you don't want the music to overlap you. So I bring it down to 30% where it's loud enough for you guys to hear it, but it's it's on that monotone where you can uh, still hear me, but you can still hear it. Watch the video if you guys like it. Please smash the like button, show the pause, and share and subscribe to the Boy the Dragon. So you too may become a model. So you can see that it, it's a beautiful synchrony. Okay, so when that's done, you can see the the green spot down right below. So that's good. <laughs> now the next thing is to generate a thumbnail. Now I go through the video and I, I picked a good thing. Now as you see, the last time when this came out, the thumbnail was Kenzie sitting down. Where did I get this image? Where did I get the image from? From literally like right around here. So let me go. And I can stop it at any time and I can generate the thumbnail. The jump, the thumb, if I want the thumbnail to be Kenzie punching Cyrus, I could show it. But I decided to set it off right here. Boom! And I can generate thumbnail. The project thumbnail is saved. So I have it saved to the file and it's gonna come out when I export the file right out. So I can export it to my gallery. I can save the project. Pretty good. And as you can see right on the right side, it says share, so I can share it straight to YouTube. But I decided to do it my way. I set it I sent it to my gallery and I upload it from there. <coughs> but as you can see, this is mostly the finished product here. Um, everything's been said and done. I don't touch the outro because everything goes too fast and no one's going to see anything. So like watch. And then it fades to black. No one's going to see anything I put up there so I don't. Soon I'm going to be um, expending my um, my old my old, my outro from my uh, phone which is me, my dragon counterpart and Harley Quinn. And I'm going to be putting it in the outro space. Who knows. Um, but for now guys. You see what I do. Behind the scenes. You, I, I've talked about a little bit about editing. And, and stuff like that. It's a pretty good middle ground. Um, but you see exactly how I do things behind the scenes. Like any video you see. This is if for placing for any video you see. It goes through here first. And I don't, I don't like to export it out without it being edited, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I think that's enough for today. Um, I hope you guys really did enjoy this little tour on how Damien Dragon edits. Um, I know it's a little bit been a little bit boring, and I'm sorry, but I think that it should show a little bit on how I do these things. Because if it, if I don't show it, then it's like. It's gonna get boring anyway, and it's like okay. A lot of people do want to start YouTube, and they want to know how to edit videos and how to do all this stuff. 
why not learn from the man who's been doing it for a while? And this is what I think should be done. But, I don't think I'm going to be editing this video. <laughs> um, and for a good reason, it's because it's showing you how to edit. So really, why would I put anything else on it? <laughs> But, but now, guys, I think I'm going to leave it off with this. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it myself. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty cool. I, 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 let me, let me, let me do it myself. Now, guys, I think we're going to leave it off with this. Thank you everyone so much for watching the video. And if you guys like it, please smack that like button, show the boss, and share and subscribe for the glory of the dragon so you too may become immortal. But from Damien to the land to the games of the world, I will see you dragonlings in the very next episode. Please my friends, keep gaming, happy hunting. And I'll see you guys back in the world of YouTube. Peace my friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, this looks fun. <laughs>